One of the biggest leaks in video game history just happened, as the entire roadmap for Xbox has been revealed, including new games, new hardware, and what the company actually plans to do for their next-gen system. With that out of the way, I have to keep it real with you guys. I don't think these leaks are as big of a deal as some people are making it out to be. Yes, it is a massive leak. And yes, somebody obviously screwed up. However, I really do not understand why so many people on the internet are having such knee-jerk reactions. Let me explain exactly what I mean by this. We got plenty to dive into, so let's just jump into it. So let's jump into the hardware side of things, because that seems to be the main thing so many people are overblowing, at least in my opinion. As you can see here, we have an Xbox Series X refresh coming, and I think a lot of people are confused by what this is. I've seen a lot of people talk as if Xbox is going to do a mid-gen refresh, much like we saw with the Xbox One X or the PS4 Pro. However, I don't think that is necessarily the case. This basically seems like an all-digital Xbox Series X. If you want to buy physical copies of your games, just buy the Series X that's already on the market. I feel like I'm missing something here. I really have no clue why so many people are acting as if like Microsoft is abandoning physical media with this console. All it is, is a digital version of the console that's already on the market. We have an all digital PS4, we had an all digital Xbox One, so I'm really not understanding where the misconception is coming from. So it also looks like we're getting a refresh of the Xbox Series S. Basically, it's the same console with a bigger hard drive. Instead of 500 gigs, it's going to be one terabyte. And I'm kind of wondering if plans have changed because we have already had a Series S come out on the market with a one terabyte and it was not priced at 299 it was 350 so it doesn't make sense that they would put out a new series s with a one terabyte drive with a faster wi-fi chip but only price it at 300 dollars so i'm not even sure if the series x the all digital will be coming out i'm not even sure if it will really be priced at 500 dollars because i feel like a lot of stuff has changed from when this stuff was originally planned and where we're at today now with those out of the way i want to bring up one thing that i actually thought was very interesting and that was the controller it seems like xbox is planning to have a controller with haptic feedback which i think is absolutely amazing and that's not necessarily because i'm an xbox gamer what i'm hoping this does is it opens up more games to offering haptic feedback on pc as since the Xbox controller should now support it and the DualSense supports it, I feel like more developers will be incentivized on including these features on their PC ports. Now, before I move on from the hardware leaks, I wanna bring up one last thing, and that is their plans for their next gen system. So it seems like Microsoft is planning on releasing the next Xbox in 2028, and supposedly it's going to be some sort of cloud hybrid console. And now I know what you're all thinking. Hearing cloud hybrid immediately is going to turn off a ton of people. However, from my point of view, until we actually get more information and until we find out this is actually the plan they have set in stone, I don't really think there's a reason to be concerned. And what I mean by that is, maybe it's just my age. I've seen consoles come and go. I saw the Sega Genesis die. I saw the Xbox One completely flop. However, the PS4 was right there for us. PC gaming was right there for us. So I feel like even if the Xbox Xbox platform does flop, you have plenty of other options. On the other hand, if they're able to pull it off and actually do something that's revolutionary, that is pretty exciting. So we'll just kind of have to wait and see, 
Plus with these documents already being older and they're talking about a system coming in 2028, I feel like they're more in the planning stages. It's not like this system is in production. So the cloud hybrid model could change. They could have looked at the numbers on the X cloud and decided maybe that's not the future they want. However, I'm gonna just say this. If they're expecting to release a cloud-based system where you're mainly streaming the games, I do 100% think that thing is gonna flop even if it's coming out in five years but let's move on ahead and take a look at another massive leak that happened and that was the games so as you can see once again this is a very dated document after all this thing is claiming we would get starfield and redfall in 2021 yeah they got delayed by two years so obviously the timeline on this thing is very off but let's look ahead at some of the more interesting games on the list that have yet to even be announced like a new doom i don't know about you guys but having a new doom game in the works just gets me very excited and the fact that it was originally slated to be coming out this year means that it has to be pretty far along in its development cycle. So even if it's delayed by a year or two, that means we could get a Doom game next year or 2025. And I'm all about that. So another interesting thing on this is it has the Elder Scrolls 6 slated to be releasing in 2024, which is pretty ambitious. I was actually thinking that game was like seven or eight years out, but apparently they were planning it to only release a couple years after Starfield. So it's like, I really don't know what their timeline was on this. Are we gonna get Elder Scrolls maybe in 2026? I mean, who knows at this point? Honestly, if I was Microsoft and this leak was already out there, what I would do is I would still try to have a few surprises. And what I mean by that is you have stuff like Oblivion Remaster or the Fallout 3 Remaster. I would stealth drop them like you did for Hi-Fi Rush. That way, I mean, everyone knows they're coming now, but now when they're announced, we don't know they're gonna be announced and they're gonna be like, boom, now this is on Steam and Game Pass or something like that. That's the route I would go. So that way when they do get announced, it comes with a big punch and they still have a major like shock value to the community. So one more thing I wanna bring up about this games list is I've seen some talk online in different comment sections and I don't know if they're being sarcastic, but I've seen talks where they say stuff like, there's no Halo on this list, there's no Gears of War on this list. And I'm confused by that. This is only the Bethesda titles. I mean, I don't see a Valve on this list and that's coming out next year. I don't see Hellblade 2 on this list and that's coming out next year. I just wanted to say that because I have seen that dialogue online and I wanted to clear up any sort of confusion over this so yeah that's pretty much my overall thoughts on the matter i mean the games is the most exciting part about all of this there's some really cool looking games on that list obviously the timeline is extremely off i think that was due to everything that happened in 2020 it delayed everything as for the hardware it's just digital versions of what we already have so it's not too exciting the next gen stuff I'm excited to see how that turns out. If it flops, I'm excited to see all the memes, but if it's something that works out, then yeah, that would really revolutionize the market. Now, before I wrap this video up, there is one more little key element I want to touch upon. And those were the emails that came out about Phil Spencer wanting to buy Nintendo or wanting to buy Valve. First of all, I'm sure they would love to buy those companies. Second of all, that is never going to happen. I don't think Nintendo would ever sell. And as long as Gabe is running Valve, there is absolutely no way in hell is he going to sell his company. I'm actually more shocked that people are acting stunned about this. This is Microsoft 
they love to buy competition. I mean, I thought it was a no brainer that they would love to buy these companies. I mean, there was a massive list that got leaked of companies that they were potentially discussing purchasing and it was basically every company on the market. That's their mindset. I don't know why people are acting stunned by this, but I would love to hear what you all think. What do you guys think about an all digital Xbox Series X? What do you think about Microsoft finally just releasing a controller with haptic feedback support and let me know what game on that list that you're most excited to see for me it is definitely doom year one however let me know your overall thoughts in the comments below and if you made it this far and did enjoy the video let me know by dropping a like and if you are new please consider subscribing as for me i got a ton of work to do so i'm gonna get back to the grind and i'll catch y'all next time peace